Uh, we're just going to get the next. Miguel, if you could come on along. We just need to reset the clock, first of all. And then we need to get his presentation. And uh, this is the famous clicker. It's idiot proof, yes, you know. Back. Okay. Don't press the red button. If you press the red button, nothing explodes. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about that. So you need to hold this. And you need to, we need to, need to wait until we have your presentation. And then, there you gonna go. Now speak into your microphone. Raz, 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 dva, tři, Is it working? Good day. Good day. Th that means like testing, Talk. testing, one, two in Russian. One, one two, one, two, raz. Okay, brilliant. Oh, and then we have your presentation. So just test your clicker. Test. Oh, okay. Okay. Test. Ah, oh. clicker. Okay, okay. brilliant. Everything, everything good. Okay, everybody, next 20 minutes, you're going to hear something uh, that uh, I would suspect hardly anyone in the audience knows anything about. So in that sense, it's a really good opportunity uh, to learn about what's happening in the Russian ecosystem. So uh, a big round of applause for, for Mikhail, who's come all the way from Moscow. Mikhail, take it away. Oh, yeah. Big round of applause. <laughs> come on, welcome. Thank you very Spanish much. welcome for people. Good day, Please. everybody. I'm very glad to be here. I am from Russian, from Moscow, and one big part of my life I work in government uh, Russian. I was a minister of public administration of M Moscow region. Do you know what is it, Moscow? It's the capital of Russia. <laughs> it's the biggest region in Russia. It's a 15 million people live in this area. And uh, next big part of my life, I was a general director of one of big company in Russia. Uh, I, I responsible for uh, development of uh, startups and uh, first uh, deal in blockchain technology in Russia. It's made our uh, team. Uh, Forbes uh, magazine wrote about it. You can you can read. Uh, but now I have just 15 minutes to tell you about the changes uh, that have been going through for thousands of the years. And uh, now we are the crossroad of our development. It's very important for our startups, of, uh, for our investment politics. And um, uh, I would like to refresh in our memory uh, how, yes, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I, have, I would like to refresh in our memory um, how 20th century was reinvented. Do you remember nearly 10 years, what, uh, this slide? And nearly 10 years, all 20th century was uh, invented. Uh, assembly line, uh, diodes, stainless steel, Einstein, uh, Brother Wright built his airplane, uh, everything uh, just 10 years. It's not very big time. And uh, it's changed everything today because scientists are saying that in the nearest 10 years, we reinvent the 21st century nearly 10 years. We reinvent everything. And uh, uh, everybody who was born 60, 70, 80 like me will feel you like your grandparents who live with us, but they can't even understand all the opportunities of our IT world. And uh, do you anybody have a child? Do you have a, ch a child? Yes, just for people. <laughs> My daughter, five years old, she is easily go to, goes to the internet and she easily uh, uh, go to the YouTube and watch your favorite cartoons. And her grandmother can't understand how she does it. Uh, it's a dramatic gap between generations, yes? Dramatic gap. And uh, it's changed everything. Uh, when our grandparents connect together, this connection was face to face, hand to hand. But now people connection between internet. And uh, uh, it's a um, new experience for our world and for our society and new risks. It's changed everything, how they understand what is the good and bad and how they understand uh, what do they think about his way in real life. What my way, what quality of my way. Let's watch a small video about technological trends. Could you please? Yes.
scenario is 10 years. Uh, how do you feel about video? It's one hand, everything is possible, yes? Positive, positive, positive video. But on the other hand, you make you feel alarmed, nervous maybe. And um, if you look uh, at the sci-fi films, they have been produced in the last 30, 40 years by the world film industry, you will find that almost all this film about scaring future. All this film, in which people are fighting with machine. Uh, and uh, the most important questions, uh, what's the difference be between machine, machines and men? What uh, machines can do and what men can do? Uh, do you have any crucial difference or maybe machines replace a man? Uh, I want to show you one interesting one interesting question. It's a question for everybody. Uh, you are for the computer or the computer is for you? Do you have smartphones? Yes. And every morning, what are you doing when you wake up? You are going to your smartphone, yes. And uh, it's uh, maybe, maybe you are for the, your smartphone, but not your smartphone for you, yes. And uh, this discussion is very important because uh, can a computer replace a man? If yes, when we are going to another question, who is a man? Let's watch the video, Jack Ma. Do you know who is a Jack Ma? It's one of the richest men in the world, and he surely understands what is the startups and what risks are connected with them, yes? Okay, let's watch. No, 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 video. We people have to learn. Louder, please. How we can survive in the artificial intelligence period. By the way, why human beings can win machines? Machines they might be stronger than human being. They might be smarter than human being. They might be run faster than human being, but they can never be as wise as human beings. Because human being, we have belief. We have a religion. We have a heart, which machine does not have. So if you want to be ready for future, please, do not follow yesterday's way of learning and teaching. Do not try to memory things hard and more, because computer can remember things hard and more than you. Do not try to calculate faster, because computer can calculate much faster than you do. So try to be creative. Try to be innovative. Try to be constructive. These are the things. Everything you learn, you think about, is this thing can make me more creative? Is this thing can be more, make me more innovative? Is this thing can be make me more constructive? Let's do it. And also, I think when other people worry, opportunity comes. Make them worry. You should know nobody will and nobody can stop this technology revolution. It's very, it's, it, it's very interesting speech uh, in one of the university. Uh, Jack Ma talking about why the men will always win the computers. And uh, he said about soul, heart, belief, innovative, create, creation, and uh, what these words mean for us today. Uh, soul, what does it mean? Belief, what does it mean for everybody? Uh, when we speak about startups and investment strategies, uh, we must analyze not only traditional risks. Uh, it's question, uh, not uh, just uh, startups questions. It's uh, even 
philosophical and religious dis religion discussion. The main difference uh, between a man and machine is that a man has thoughts, heart, soul, belief. We must analyze not only traditional risk. And uh, I want to share with you one interesting practice. Uh, there are three categories of words uh, we use for communication. The first category is simple words, simple function words. Bring, do, give, everybody understand each other as well in this level. Yes, bring something for me. I understand what does it mean. And uh, I think the robots in this field replace us very well. Uh, the second category, world of system words, system professional words. Uh, it's what like system, quality, uh, process, effectiveness, and uh, in this level, we understand each other as well because we are create uh, standards, international standards for understanding, like ISO 9000 and professional standards. And all people in the world uh, can understand what does it mean, system. Do you know what does it mean, system? International? International world system. You can, you can read this standard. But uh, we have a third category of words. It's very difficult for us to understand these words. Respect, kindness, responsibility, freedom, happiness, dignity, belief, soul, spirit, man, woman. These words uh, make us happy or unhappy, meaningful or meaningless. Functions, functions, do, give, system, it's very simple. But happy, be happy, be full, life, when your life will happy and full, it's very important. But these words, we can't understand what does it mean. Jack Ma talked about these words. I want to give you one practice. Uh, everybody, have nearly 20, 30, maybe 40 words, the third category, which you, you use every day. And we maybe really don't understand what does it mean. Uh, try verbalize this meaning in the, uh, of these words into the verb. Try verbalize. What does it mean? Happiness for me is to do this and not to do that. Love for me is to do this and not to do that. Try to write in your paper, maybe evening, maybe morning, 20, maybe 30 words. And uh, if you write this uh, paper, you can compare understanding this words with your neighbors. And you will see how you different understand together. It's uh, bad news. The level where the, um, the, our society may be uh, more stronger than computer, we don't understand anything. But the good news, uh, if we will do it very often, we will find something who connected us. And um, it's practice very important for our period, for our crossroads of our development. Because uh, if you use this practice, you can manage risk of your startups. You can analyze new risks that have never been thought of before. That's all what I want to tell you. I think uh, it may be useful for you. If you need this presentation or maybe this speech, you can download it from my website. And thank you very much for your attention.